This video is going to cover the parts of what's called a motor neuron model. Nerves are, well, nerves are composed of neurons, and this one we're looking at here is actually what's called a multipolar neuron. So here's the picture. Now this is also posted under the diagrams, but I can make this one a little bigger. So if you go here first, here's the cell body. The whole thing looks like it's having the bad hair day and everything. Here's the nucleus, and that little dense spot right inside there is the nucleolus. You know, cells have a nucleus, they have a nucleus on the inside. These little extensions coming off are called dendrites. That's how a nerve can connect to another nerve, uh, or the end of another nerve, a nerve, excuse me, neuron. So this part coming off is the axon, the yellow. In fact, the whole, even on the inside there, comes all the way down. That's an axon. An axon is actually, has another name, it's called a nerve fiber. Um, the blue in this picture, they're called Schwann cells. And there's about, I didn't count them all, looks like 12, 10 or 12 of those. What they do is they produce the myelin sheath in the peripheral nervous system. So what you have in the, excuse me, in the gaps, so these areas between the Schwann cells, those are called the nodes of Bernalvier here. And it basically it's the part that's not myelinated. And so this happens to be a myelinated axon, but it has these little gaps in here that are called the nodes, and they're called the nodes of Bernalvier. So going back to our list, cell body, nucleus, nucleolus, the dendrites, those little extensions coming off, axon, um, Schwann cell with a myelin sheath, a node of Bernalvier. And there was one other diagram that I have posted uh, to go back to the spinal cord here, but this is how they are set up. So you can recognize that's the one we just covered. So here's the axon part coming off. And there are the ends, like, like that go out and connect to a muscle, like the neuromuscular junction, but here's the cell body. This is also a multipolar, this is called an interneuron. Uh, it's actually found in the gray matter of the spinal cord. So here are the anterior horns, the posterior horns, the central uh, canal, and that's supposed to be gray. It represents, you know, the unmyelinated part. And then here is a dorsal root ganglion. Here's the dorsal root, the ventral root, and that's why the ganglion is swollen because it has all these little cell bodies. These are unipolar cell bodies. Here are the dendrites for a unipolar neuron, but... Um, Anyway, just a little example of how, why it's important to know the parts of a motor neuron. And that is everything.